What are you doing? What are you doing? Watch your blanket. That John Marston. Hello, you look hungry. I'm not that hungry. Hey, partner. Morning. Look who it is. May I direct you to that bounty poster hanging on yonder wall there? Partner? Get out of my face. Already get Otis Skinner. Otis okay. Skinner of the Skinner Brothers. Well, well, well. It said they took the pelt off a pelt hunter southwest of Manzanita Post. Well, I shall try and hold on to mine. Very droll. In all my years of police. Doing okay, girl. You'll be okay. What? Who was? This is, this is a rusty part two. Got an appetite. Okay, Missy. Rusty part two is a uh, female. Call her rust at. It's sad, but I got my horsey back. What? I never hurt anyone. Will you go hassle someone else? We're with the trouble, old man. I need. Want to die somewhere? Son of a bitch. Some help you were. Ah, oh, you were fine. Didn't feel so fine. <laughs> Hell, you're back. Keep some distance from that guy. I won't take it kindly anything happens to him. Yeah, yeah, you just keep a hold on him. Friends have a way of disappearing when they're hijo de putas. Anyhow, ain't there. I'm okay. Where, where'd he go? Hello. Looking for a trim? Yep. So, what do you need? Thank you. That looks pretty good. Hmm. 
say you look ready for a portrait now. Please, tell your friends about us. Mm -hmm. Where's my bounty? My hands on the Air Force. Thank you very much. You're fine, lady. Hang in there, girl. Oh no. Damn it. So the news has to say. Stay here.
all come undone. There you are. That's the spirit. Boy, you caught a whip or something. Now how about we rest up? We can go and fly the flag directly. Otis Skinner. How'd I manage to fall in with you? What's that, boy? Someone's here. Oh shit. Anything you want me to hold on to? Up you get. Hmm. Hey, come here. But do you have a horse around here somewhere? I would really hate to have to drop something. Get 
Smith before the foul. And you're going to foul, all right. Oh, hush now. I'm gonna go back there just for fucking a good help. You're okay, girl. <laughs> oh, partner. By force, half. You need a rest. <laughs> Buddy! Don't you want to be free, huh? You're a slave. You trying to talk me to death? Skinner here for you. God damn, get him in the cell already. Ain't this a charming little jail house? I'll be comfortable enough. God damn, god damn. I got your bounty money here. Thank you. I'll take it. You should know there has been a cessation in the issuance of bounties in Blackwater. Apparently, we have the budget to build a city, but not to protect one. Oh, I have a twenty dollar bounty. There was a law, man. Come on, lady. Look out. 
Who's a good horse? Who's a good girl? Ain't you fine? Sir! I'll be with you momentarily. Smart's on the do. Oh, yeah? So long. Lumber liquidators. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. All right, dickhead. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know. He's telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir? Good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. actually a little exciting. Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable, instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No! Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. Mm -hmm. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. I wasn't done saying. 
<laughs> when I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping uh -huh. wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess the figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. We're gonna park him right here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like I said, Nils is a, an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. Okay. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. <laughs> Two words, single word. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, <laughs> let's get moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right then. Beecher's hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World oh! Oh! Everyone find some cover! Ah, fuck! Devin, you okay? Yes. Got the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, you stay here, guard the wagons. Charles, come on! Where are they coming from? 
Charles, I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. Bodies for a loot. Let's get out of here. Oh my lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it? Come on. We gotta go. Now. Easy there. Oh. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. But they're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. 
Then I hope we put an end to it. It was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, uh, Uncle! Uh, was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we've scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. right there man that kind of blows Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain <laughs> unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. While you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get off? <laughs> I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. I should get on with this. Oh my god, we're building the house. Yeah, yeah. We're doing it. We're building Future's home. Oh my god. saw in a board and I'll cut it I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it 
Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever No matter what the weather We're together This is actually pretty fun Lumbago. Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Marsden, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. <laughs> and you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this heavy home. We still just full get this warm back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Cowboy Builder. Oh, 
Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? What? How did I get silver on that mission? Oh. My god. You see anything we should be worried about? Skinners? No. Seems quiet. Good. Maybe that was all of them. Move your hand, jackass.
should have done this earlier. Later time. I'm always catching you in the act. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin' so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. You know, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, well, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one <laughs> pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. like I used to. Good then I never was that fast. Actually, I kind of want to check that.
In the black water. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube, doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it, because if I saw you walk into my lumberyard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. You'll be okay. There. Easy. This is him. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, well, an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and. I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, but this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie hey, Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... you got any work? Kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I'm... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. Good girl. All right, the painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo guy. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. 
But some is Californios, and some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, of the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not... I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. You need to allocate Me and Charles break. put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Yes, ma'am! This is... Painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come go! I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. There isn't any bounty. Oh, shut up. Get your horse up here. Hold. Bring 
Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Stay by this post. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch! Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Sheriff Thomas, we want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Cortez, you son of a bitch. Apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mira. Come on. Uh. What else you got for me? Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You got bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. 
Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse? Yeah. Guess we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Grays and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. Yep. Yeah. We come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. Doing okay, girl. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. <laughs> Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well.
Mom, pull out your fucking weapon. Easy a long time ago. Hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down now! Crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Ah. I'm back, girl. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? <laughs> you are a dead woman! You are a dead man! But the Lobos will not forgive this! <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you! You, you, you! Anyone who is close to you! I preferred it when you was offering money! Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money! I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon. I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold! Five thousand dollars! Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Cause you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you! Woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. 
We're gonna go for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. The sheriff better move him quick this time. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. Will you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money mm -hmm. for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. <sighs> How did I know I was going to be able to loot those bodies? How did I know? How did I know? <laughs> Is that my barn? Johnny boy needs a haircut. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rends, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives? What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives? 
And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us ne'er be. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> Let's go. Here! I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Whoa. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards the tall trees. Come on. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Hmm. Chilling. Did you hear something? What are you doing? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. There, to the right. Two skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Control to our left. Shh. Let him go. Hold it. Easy. Easy. 
they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. Dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. No! Stay with him. Stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Okay. Let's go. See something. Uh huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay. Oh. Okay. I can't see much through this. My mess. God. Can you look too? We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Uh, Charles! Uh, 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 behind you! Get off the fucking rock! Skinner's coming in! Try something else. Fucking repeating shotgun just sucks so much dick. Skinners, come in!
okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got them. Oh. Looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry it. I have to ride my horse this extra 10 feet. Oh, don't let me fall, please! Uh, Uncle? Uncle? Hey. We're here. Alright. Let's get you done. Easy. Uh, uh, I got you. I got you. Uh, uh, come Let's on. get him out there. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You're not really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. Hmm. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. 
really do. If she ever comes back. I... You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so I reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! My horse is so happy. Got a cow. Mama had a chicken. Mama had a cow. Dad was proud. He didn't care how. Killing. Last time we did that.
I'm gonna go do the one that's farthest away because slow. Fan of fence. Pile of poop. Why'd they move it all the way over here? Ah, that is so... This takes all the time in the world.
I'm gonna go this way because I can't go out that out the main barred doors very often anymore. Brings up haunting memories. Ugh, this is only chore number two. What is that? I haven't heard from Tostasa in a while. Camp drawers are there. Oh, my God. Why aren't these placed anywhere like convenient? chickens. Now feed the chickens. Now bring egg crates. Why can't I have Uncle do all this? It doesn't make f any sense.
This is a pride thing. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I've been doing for the last 15 minutes. Cam sure I gotta do? Nope. That's epic one. Let's go talk to the guy. How you getting on, son? Uh Fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and uh, playing with the dog. You want to go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating, though, right? Because we got to find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay, sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... If you'd like him to, I guess. So, you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, <laughs> I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And... It'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and light. This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. <laughs> Don years know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. 
Come on, let's fish. Uncle Jose, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now, stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's... he's strong. Good. Now, reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. Nice I got one. <laughs> what do you think? How do you feel? I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. I told you the definition of irony. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I will go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here, boy! Let me come help you look. down to come here what are we gonna do what are we gonna do pa are you sucking <laughs> Okay, we just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Okay. Abigail, can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes, sometimes. You just don't know how things are going to turn out. But... But the dog... The dog's going to be fine. It's okay, son. Yeah, look at all the farm animals we have. Oh, it's so amazing. I'm a farmer now. Hey, Rufus! Hey, little fella. All right, little fella. Rufus is a good boy. That's all you need to know about him. Here, 
Because it is. It is. <laughs> now I gotta get back to work and spend all my time talking to you, fool. <laughs> he did exactly what I thought about doing. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. Ah, you are a hard woman. <laughs> Come out here! Sadie, <laughs> you're alive! John, it's... Sadie Ann. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I saw her. I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No, arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter bodyguard i protect the gold prospectors up in the hills i'm thinking of starting my own transportation business i was thinking maybe if john wanted to earn some money my husband he ain't looking for that kind of work I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place and you're working for her to pay it off yes sometimes i was but i thought we said no more of that no you said that what else am i gonna do I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. Well... It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family. Bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. What is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Or the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. There you are, Missy. Say your goodbyes, John. Get your horse and let's go. <clears throat> Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Fine. Friendly. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, <laughs> me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think... I know. I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. Yeah. How long ago? No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy.
We're cutting off the main track up here. A man's in need of post. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Amping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> the fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. Let's get out of here! It's that way, I'd say. Great. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. Yeah, this way. It keeps going through here. There's a cabin up here. fella maybe but looks more like a local farmer to me or what's the lift of one is it gone you marshal thorwell that i am ma'am i'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of lemoyne you're wanted for theft fraud and avoiding arrest is the monster still out there no I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Don't shoot. Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out of here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. <laughs> Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man. Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I 
I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to rem remember us by at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. A family man and all. Seeing all this? Uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash on... Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty on... Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there... Get her! Ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I... I gotta do, with or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Oh. Here we are. Let's get him to the jailhouse. Okay, hitch up. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you. Well, if you please. Hello, come on in. Now then, let's have a look here. Thank you. 
on, man. Our friends around her is it just a general store. Over here, fella. Be more careful. Out of the way! Hello there. Let's see what you got then. For then, sure, you can uh, look. Everybody's trying to rush me. Try this. Time for you to leave yet, or can you fuck off? What have I done to you? Jesus Christ! to shoot in the goddamn face. Excuse me, big man. Yeah. Okay there. Ah, keeping the soap sellers in business with all that hair, huh? Only a trim or something fancy like? That's pretty good. Now that isn't half bad, huh? Mighty fine if I do say so. fence anyways.
I'll tell you what, woman. Was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. It's walk or work, old man. Well, I got a lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston. Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way <laughs> who's that no idea friend or foe we'll soon find out it's the gettys boys from proghorn ranch yeah mr milton mr milton duncan sir ma found some old furniture in the attic ma thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present you know uh they send their regards uh, how kind they are Tell your mom, Paul, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. Then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Paul said this is the least he could do. Nito. Well, that's about everything. Send your Watch pa my best there. regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> How romantic. <laughs> And now to Blackwater. Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. <laughs> I ain't had a drink and... Well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean, good, wholesome fun, like, uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well, decent or not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters. Portrait? There's a fella in town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No! Oh. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Portrait it is. I'll just put us here.
Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. All right, let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. <laughs> Actually, You're really acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Mm. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Probably. Well, good job, John. Well, hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So... Uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls, Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look, pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there to release the next one. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. <laughs> this is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. Look, this was your idea, John. It's up to you. I liked this one. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. I thought you were a cowboy. Not a poser. Oh, no. I'm a poser. Learn from the best. That is true. How's this? Perfect. So no. uncomfortable. Give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Tough guy. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. <clears throat> Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> What do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. 
<laughs> that was actually kind of cute. What shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay, good. Well, let's go. Thank you. It's it's real fine doing normal things. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart. I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Oh, that's always good. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. Alright, I'm gonna let this play, because I'm pretty sure it's mission important. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick, I'll be right back. It's just incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. John Marston. What are you doing with that arm? I thought you might be cold. John. <laughs> That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. It looks so real. It's not. Don't be such a sour puss. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Is it over? I think so. Come on. I can do it. Be seeing you. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. Oh. No, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, well, he's even worse. That's it. Oh, John Marston. I was so romantic. <laughs> like I said. Mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing it. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? <gasps> oh, I get to do it. You can't tease me like that. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. In front of God. You serious? I 
got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. Serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never... I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking romantic! Oh, that brings so much joy to me. Oh, that is just the sweetest. Oh! We go out and do our chores, make our coffee. <laughs> He's a married man and we got to watch it. I gotta pay. Hello, Rufus. Good dog. Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plow. He became the greatest app. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. What? Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. Uh, I got a lead. Oh. One of his boys wanted for murdering the woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Maka. But I gotta go now. You coming? No, he's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm. Oh. John. <laughs> I'm begging you. No. You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? Well, this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks as fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please. John, John I want Micah dead as much as you. I ain't got no other choice.
Yes, you do. I want him dead, but not like this. Give me another character. Please. <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch then. Come on. Come on. Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Mike's boys is? They both have rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah, and that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell. Nowadays, I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. Oh, boy, what you life. want to do. Well, I'd like to try it. Oh, hey, John. You've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. Go on, girl. side of the river. I'll stay on this one. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. And I didn't pull any weapons out of my horse. Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Where's Micah? Where is he? Where is he? You 
heard the lady. Get up there. Listen to me. Move. I, I swear. No. Keep moving. Come here, you bastard. Move it. Come on. Move. Here. I want you stood right here. Still. Dog. All right. String the no good murdering bastard up. Let's try this again. Uh, Where's Mike? Uh, Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Talk. Or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 no. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. He's up in the mountains. I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen. He got a whole gang now. Bad man. Doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm... I'm one of the good guys. Hang him. No. No. He's dead. Thank you. It's far, sir. Come on! A little rat said Mount Hagen. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Maka, we're coming for you. Yeah! Oh, do I have enough time to party? Tower up there, they might be using for a camp. There might be a sniper. Get in cover, quick! You lie, Charles. Don't be careful. Where is this? God damn it. You better fucking be alive. We're over here. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. I will be. I 
go on now. Move fast. They'll come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. Shit. You all right? Just fine. You don't look too fine. Come on. You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just Go get him, I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, Jeez, stay God. with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up there Look who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. Eat shit, die. That was Joe! Bad time, bad time. Oh, damn it, that was not so heroic. <sighs> I fucking looted at the wrong time. Look who it is. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. That was Joe! We gotta be close! My computer! I'm just here for my
Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Oh. Not much. <laughs> In a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. God damn it. Just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. You got me. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. No. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now. What were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. <laughs> You shot at me, son. You started it. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You, you just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me. Won't solve nothing! Put down your gun, master! Say something, Dutch! Say something! I ain't got too much to say no more. Thank you, Dutch! You shot me. <laughs> You shot me pretty good. <clears throat> oh, just fucking die already! <laughs> D 
Thank you. I... I... You okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Ugh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. Blackwater. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> I'm going to where the sun burns in the heat stays in coma and coma lay by my side right here to where the river turns no! to dust and finally never rush come lay by my side right here <laughs> but I love you in the world it seemed to Makes sense when Brother Santo said oh, one more won't be enough. I'm gonna be enough. Oh, finally, I got to Money kill Blanca. An entire dream has come true. Kerosene, uh -huh. Come and lay by my side right here. Red, I love you. For the buzzing thing, count the going on for a minute. I can't stay no more. Go I have to pee by my side, right here. Red, I need you in the world. <laughs> when I see you behind the glass, I forget that I'm in the cage. They bring me to Sunday Mass, but it never. The rage is red. I love you and the world. Seven months gone and seven years to go, Reg. I can't stay no more. Come and lay by my side right here. Red, I love you and the world. Red, I need you. In the world Oh, man. 
Charles is gonna get to go live his life. He's gonna go up to Canada. Tilly.
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's Tilly. That's so cool. Pearson! Ah, oh, how cool! Ah, oh, it's Pearson! Ah, oh, it's Pearson!
that face. Don't act like you fucking care now. I just wish I knew where that was.
is that? Just got a bunch of new skins coming in this new update. 
Dynasty Warrior fans each heard of. Man, they didn't play around with these end credits, did they? I'm just trying to fucking get to the end of this.
made it. This millstone around our necks, we better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. I, uh, I don't want to talk about that money. And no Bless more you. that it's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. How are you, Mrs. Marston? I got a useless husband and an angry son. And I'm the happiest woman that ever was. Be careful, you. Oh, damn. That's chilling. It looks just, uh. Fuck, where's my horse? Thank you, horse. Well, that is the end of that. I don't see any stranger missions. I have all of this world left to explore. I have fish to catch. I have a fence to go find. I think there's one down here. Pretty sure. It doesn't feel forced. Like it doesn't feel like people's. It doesn't feel like people were forced into the position. Oh my God! Look how much money I fucking got. Look how much money I got. Hold on. Wait a minute. Well, I'm gonna just explore the rest of the map, and yeah, that's that. Thanks for sticking with me in this journey. It's been fun. <laughs>